Customers can always expand capacity of Rezu by using an expansion kit called Rezu Plus, which enables electrical connection of two Rezu packs. Before you begin with the installation, please read the installation manual thoroughly. Once you have picked the spot which meet all the requirements for the installation environment, put on safety gears listed in the installation manual. Spaces for two Rezu packs, one battery inverter, and one Rezu Plus should be reserved prior to the installation. Check every component of Rezu Plus package. In the package, you will find Rezu Plus, two anchor bolts, and two 12-volt power cables. Make sure you turn off the battery and its inverter before you install the Rezu Plus. The dip switch setting of the battery pack has to be changed to LGC Multi-Mode. Remove the rubber switch cover and change the dip switch setting to LGC Multi-Mode. Remove the top cover of Rezu Plus by loosening the four screws at each corner of the product. Remove the bank BMS inside by loosening four screws at each corner of black metal plate. The bank BMS is a PCB and contains sensitive electronic components, which need to be taken care of with a caution. Make sure to place the bank BMS in a safe location while mounting the Rezu Plus to the wall. Determine mounting position by using the mounting holes which are placed on the left top and right bottom side of the device. Drill holes into the wall for M8 screw anchors. The drilling depth should be at least 50 millimeters. Drive the screw anchors through the holes of the device into the drilled wall. Tighten the screws with a torque of 8 newton meters. Loosen the large glands and the nuts of power terminals. Thread the power cable through the large glands and connect each cable to its corresponding terminal. Tighten the nuts of the power terminals first, then the glands. After all power cable have been connected, reattach the bank BMS and tighten the M4 screws with a torque of 1 newton meter. The bank BMS must be handled very carefully. Loosen the small glands for grounding. Out of four small glands at the bottom, two of them are for grounding, as the one on the right side of the device. Thread the ground cables through the three M12 glands and connect them with the M4 stud bolts. Tighten the glands firmly. Use the two provided 12-volt power cables for supplying power to Rezu Plus from the battery packs. Connect the 12-volt power cable first to the corresponding Rezu battery pack and thread the cable through the middle of the small three holes on the right side of the battery pack. Then, thread the cable through the grommet. Loosen the small glands at the bottom of the Rezu Plus and pass power cables through the glands for connection. Make sure not to confuse the plus and minus connection. Plus is white, while the minus is black. Remove the blue grommets, thread communication cables through the hole, and connect to the bank BMS. Insert the grommets to the housing again. Applying insulating material, such as silicone sealant, around the inside of the housing. Make sure that there is no gap so that the grommet and the communication cables are perfectly sealed. Reattach the top cover and tighten the screws with a torque of one newton meter. Turn on both Rezu packs by moving the circuit breaker to off position first, then to on position. The three lights at the indicator of the Rezu Plus will appear if the installation is performed properly. For firmware update of Rezu Plus, LG Chem recommends to use one of the SD cards stated in the installation manual. Open the blue rubber cover on the left side of the Rezu Plus. Insert the SD card and press the red button for three seconds. The lights will begin to flash from left to right. When the update is finished properly, the three lights will be lit at the end. This is the example of final outlook of the Rezu Plus when it is connected with two battery packs and battery inverter.